Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Um, today, I've got a special treat for you. So, I don't know if you watched one of my other videos where I showed you how you can stamp on fabric and make your own textiles. Well, if you did, you'll uh, remember that I just used these little scraps of cotton fabric and I did some stamps on them. I've got elephants, I've got little Buddhas. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to make the cutest little gift sack. It's a little bit grunge, a little bit boho, and um, we're going to be using those fabric stamps. Now, it, this is, <laughs> I want to tell you the story about um, me creating this little gift sack. Is uh, I'm going to do a little shout out to my girlfriend over at uh, Rare Birds. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, you've got to go check it out. It's um, Clarity Through Color, and she's an artist as well. But her birthday's coming up this weekend, and I made, I've got some little goodies for her, and this little sack was inspired by her. So she's um, very authentic, boho, um, she's an archie mythologist her art revolves around it so this is perfect for her and I'm always thinking of my friends and the things that they love so this is the inspiration behind it and I'm going to show you how to make it it's super easy and super cute all right so I got these pre-made sacks at Walmart so you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at the craft store, you can probably get them off Amazon or eBay. And I saw them and I'm like, I have to have them. They were only like three bucks. I got three in a pack. And if, like I mentioned, if you watched my last video, I had um, created these little, I just stamped on fabric and these are just um, cotton fabrics behind and they're little like oopsies I was playing around with but I'm going to use them because no one's going to see it. I'm going to take my cotton stamp that we made my last video. I'm going to double it up and I'm going to tilt the camera here in a second because we're going to sew it. We're going to like grunge sew it. But before we do that let's add a little trinket. I love me some tassels. So we're going to add a tassel. And you know what? This is nothing special. Again, these little tassels you can buy anywhere. There's a little like eye hook there. And I've got a ton of yarn because I do amigurumi and I sew. So I just took a piece of white yarn. I'm just going to loop it through. Can you see there? The eyelet. And we're just going to do a double knot. And we're going to sew this between the two fabrics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the tassel and I'm going to put my second cotton fabric on top. Okay, so I don't, I just want um, the tassel to hang below there, let's center. Okay, and then let me just tilt the camera down because you guys, I pulled the sewing machine out. Yes, I did. All right, so let's get my sewing machine here and whoop, get this all lined up because we are going to sew the tassel side first. So just position it there so the tassel is going to show and we're just going to sew. Now, and we're going to sew, let's go back a bit. We're going to sew right off the fabric. And we're not going to worry about whether it's straight. We're not going to worry about all the little hangy things hanging down because we want those to stay. This is kind of like a little grunge look. Okay, we're going to start right at the edge of the fabric. And we're just going to sew all here and we are doing that I'm gonna do it on all four sides Last 
last one. Okay, and look at that. How simple. Okay, we are not done. So I have these little stamps that say breathe, dream, and again, it's just on the cotton fabric. So I'm gonna cut one out. I'm gonna use the breathe one because we do yoga together and we do a lot of breathing techniques. So this is perfect for her. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna like cut the edges because I want it to be like kind of imperfect. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm going to place it up in the corner, like so, and I'm just going to sew around it. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by all around. Again, we're going right to the edge. Okay, I did one side, I'm going to do the top, and I'm going to do each side. Okay, so let me just get my sewing machine out of the way here. Okay, so we've got it all sewed. See how there's little strings hanging out and stuff? We want to keep that. And what I want to do is I want to like kind of fray the canvas underneath because I I'm trying to make this as grungy as I can. And if most of you have seen the work that I do. I'm not a grunge artist, but I do love it. So I'm trying very hard here. <laughs> this is about as grungy as I get. Um, so I really hope I do this technique justice. Just grab some of these frayed pieces. Let me do it this way so you can see the picture. If you need to take your scissors to just kind of get in the fabric and pull some up, you can do that. And there's all these little hangy things, which is nice. And I'm just going to put like a little, I'm going to show you in a second here, tear so it looks like, see up here, like a little hole. Because I just want it to look grungy with this kind of boho feel. I mean, I'm all about fusion art. I like to fuse a bunch of techniques. So we got some boho, we got some yogi, we got some grunge all wrapped into one. Oh, and I have to completely forgot to mention my little brand which is like coastal and I use burlap in so much of my decor and decorating and it's it can be used in so many different ways so I think I've got this a little grungy here maybe this edge There we go, it's like a little patch. 
Okay, super easy part. You guys are going to love this. Okay, so I can't sew it on because it's already in a sack. There's an awesome prop product so called Fabric Fusion. Get it at any craft store or even Walmart. And um, this stuff is fabulous if you don't like to sew. Hey, just glue it. So what I do is I take a piece of cardboard and I stick it down into the sack. So you don't want to glue the sack shut. Okay. And then we're just going to flip it over. Now make sure all your little grungy pieces are out of the way because you don't want to like accidentally glue them. And because we want all those little goodies. We're just going to add some glue just in a square. And I didn't put it to the edge because I kind of want it to flip up and stuff. Okay, and all you got to do is glue on. Make sure that little tassel hangs down, press down. If you want to add a little bit of glue at the top where the breathe is, you can do that. I'm going to do it so it doesn't get caught on anything. You want to make sure your little tassel's hanging down. And isn't this the cutest thing? And it was super easy. You could put all kinds of little goodies in there. Now, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So we want to keep that little board in there for a few minutes until it dries. Maybe leave it for about 10 minutes and then pull the board out so that um, you can use it and you can stuff it with anything. So that's my little grunge um, burlap gift sack. So hopefully you guys can try this at home. Um, all of my stamps are handmade. I've made them all. Can't get them anywhere else. But I'm going to um, end up putting a couple of these little sacks up on my website at www.evetsaintamon.com if you want to purchase them. I just have a limited supply. I'm probably going to only have two. I might think of making some more. So if you want to go purchase the one that I made, go pop on over to my website. It's Y-B-E-T-T-E-S-T-A-M-A-N-T. -T -T -E -E -T. Thanks for joining me.